Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you the four basic cores that every beginner needs to know no matter what. And we're getting started right now. All right, welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video, like I said, we're gonna cover the four uh, basic chords uh, for every beginner. Every beginner needs to know these four basic chords. Uh, and at the end, I'm actually gonna show you a fifth kind of bonus chord uh, just to throw in there, just to uh, give you something a little more to uh, play with. So let's get into it. Um, so the first thing, um, this is uh, this applies to every key. Every key, uh, no matter what, is going to be able to, like you're going to be able to use the same kind of formula for every key. Uh, the key that we're going to be working in is the key of G. Uh, the key of G is pretty pretty basic. It's kind of like the church key. I guess you could call it, it's pretty simple. It allows you to uh, stay more down here and it allows you to play a lot of open chords. And it's just, it's really the kind of the beginners, um, or why I would say a lot of beginners should be starting is in the key of G or just somewhere down here uh, where they can play a lot of big open chords. So uh, first and foremost, uh, like I said, we're gonna be covering uh, four basic chords that every beginner should know and I'm also going to throw in a little tip uh, for the uh, second chord and we'll get to that in a second a little quick like a fun trick that you can use that will enhance your playing a little bit so first of all uh, we're just going to be working on the first three frets so here here and here that's all we're going to be working on we're not going to be working anywhere beyond that uh, you can play these chords beyond the three these three frets but that would be for another video um, and i'll link actually link that up in somewhere in the card somewhere uh, about kind of alternate voicings of chords and playing up the neck if you want but we're not going to get into that right now like i said this is kind of a beginner's lesson for just the the basic chord so first one we're going to look at is g the g chord and in the key of g this is going to be considered the one chord um, that's kind of important to remember if you belong and you're working on like a worship team for a church or you're in like any kind of a like work professional you know musician setup you'll hear people say this this chord progression is one you know six three or whatever and they're referring to a number system that's associated with it so any key you play in you just associate a number with it and you can transpose pretty easily. We're not gonna get into that. That's another video for another time. Um, but anyway, it's the one chord. Um, and G is gonna be composed of the note G on the low E string right here on the third fret. So that's your, right there, that's your third fret. That note is G. On the second fret of the A string, you're gonna be playing a B so now you have G B and then this open string right here the third string in is a D and that's gonna give you G B and D and that actually makes up all of the notes of a G chord so to complete the chord all the way through you're just gonna play G B D just like you have and what I'm using I'm using my middle finger on the third fret of the low E string and my first finger on the second fret of the B string now here's where you can alternate. You can either play with your pinky, with your pinky on the third fret of the high E string, and that gives you the octave, that high octave G. So now you're playing G, B, D, G, B, G, all the way through. What some people do is they'll actually place their ring finger on the third fret of the B string and they get kind of a, a D sounding G, which sounds like this. So you hear the difference? That's with your ring finger on the third fret. And then here's with your ring finger off the third fret, just that open B. So subtle difference, but it does make a difference. So that's your one chord, that's your G. Moving on, we're gonna play um, what would be considered the uh, five chord, uh, which is, again, in the key of G, this is the five chord, but it's the second chord we're gonna talk about, and it's D. So D is a fifth of G. That's important to remember. If you were to look at it on a piano and you hit G, you five notes away, a fifth up, a perfect fifth up from G is D. So 
right here, we're gonna be playing open D, the open D string. We're gonna be playing the second fret of the G. We're gonna be playing the third fret of the B, which gives us an octave of D. So now we have like that. And then we're gonna be playing the second fret of our high E string, which gives us uh, F sharp. So now we have the notes in the, in the D major are D, um, A, and then F sharp, just like that. So all together like that. Um, one thing that you can do if you're doing this, you can actually throw in uh, like the bass note. You might see them in chord charts. It'll say like F sharp slash D. Um, if, yeah. And what that's saying is it's saying D with an F sharp in the bass. So you're just playing that bass note of F sharp right here on the second fret of the low E string. So you could walk down from G to this and it would sound really nice. Watch. It sounds pretty cool when you do that. So that brings us to our third chord that we're gonna learn, which is E minor. Now again, you can play any of these chords anywhere else on the neck. We're just focusing on these three frets right here. So E minor is actually very easy. It's literally just the low E open. It's the second fret of the A string, which gives you a B. It's the second fret of the D string, which gives you an octave of D. So you have that low E that and then it's an open G and that gives you all of the notes in E minor and then you just those are the only two you're fretting so it just all the way through so like I said walking down is gonna be That's a nice little chord progression to know. That's just the G, the one, five, with a F sharp in the bass like that, and then your six chord. In the key, it's the sixth chord, that E minor. Um, brings us to our next chord. Our next chord, uh, and this is the fourth and final uh, chord that I think every beginner should know and learn right off the bat, right out of the gate. That's gonna be um, C, just your standard C chord. Uh, it's pretty similar to G in the sense that it's focused right here on the third fret and the second fret, um, except you're just playing everything you played there up. So now you're on the third fret of the A string, you're on the second fret of the D string, and then you're actually going to come down here and you're going to play the first fret of the B string, which will give you that octave of C. So now you have C there and then you have C there. And what that sounds like is like this. Like that, that's your C. So if you played all those together and you could create, you know, any combination of these sounds good. And we'll, we'll try it here. So we've got G, D with an F sharp in the bass, E minor, And you notice I'm not moving my ring finger or my pinky finger. I'm just leaving them right there. Because like I said, you can leave those right there and it will give you kind of a D, a heavy, heavy sound. Um, but still, you're still playing all the same major chords. You're just adding that one octave of it. So it kind of is slight variation of it. A little bit of a subtle uh, alternate voicing, if you want to call it that. It's just... It's a, it, when you're playing live, like I said, if you're leading worship or you're doing something like that, or you're in, in some kind of a cover band and you're playing, you know, you're having to play. It's nice to not have to move half your fingers. So, you know, when you're moving, constantly moving all of your fingers all over the place. It can get a little taxing on your, on your hand and your wrists and your fingers and your joints and everything and it's just more things to think about I always I believe that the less you have to think about the easier your your, your time is going to be so um, the bonus chord uh, that I think that you every beginner should learn and this is kind of like a last what you should learn last 
master all those, and then uh, is A minor. So A minor is very similar to E minor. Um, so we've got E minor just like that. Remember second fret right there on those two strings. A minor is very similar. You're just gonna move everything from here on these two strings on the A and the D. You're gonna move it to the D and the G. And that gives you A, and then you're just gonna take this finger here, and you're gonna place it on the first fret of the B string. And that gives you A minor. And by the way, you can play, you can use whatever fingers you want. It's really up to you and your the way you're comfortable, the way it feels right to you. It's not there's no set rule that says you have to use your only your ring finger and your pinky finger and play it like this. It doesn't there's no rule for that. It's just whatever makes you comfortable, whatever works for you and whatever you know, whatever's best. So that's your A minor right there. So just to recap, we've got our G We've got our D, and I'm always throwing the F sharp, it's just kind of natural. I'm always throwing the F sharp in the bass just because it's natural, but you can just, right there. So G, D, E minor, C, and then A minor to finish it off. So there you go. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, beginner video. Uh, if you did, please like this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. I really do appreciate it. Um, leave a comment in the video. What are you working on right now? Uh, I want to know where you're at. I want to know what your progress is. I want to know what you hope to learn in future videos or just in your life in general and being a guitar player. So let me know and we'll, uh, we'll talk next time. All right. Have a good one. Bye.